Now we are going to discuss about how we can find at which point uh, the, the, a particular table is getting called in, in a particular transaction code. So it's a little confusing, but I'll give you an example. It's suppose we want to see whether the table, suppose T001, which is the company code table, we'll just see. Okay, so we see SE11, we go here and we put T001 and we want to see whether this table gets called in a transaction, suppose in ME23. So what we have to do first is we go to slash H okay? and here now we will put ME 23 N slash H means it will stop the debugger. Now here the debugger is switching on. What we have to do is suppose here uh, we will go to script first. Sorry. You go to script. some time and this if it takes some time it's not because it's it's a system it's probably the our internet speed so my internet speed is messed up so it's coming to eventually show up let's click script it's taking for some time let me do one thing let yeah, here. here it came finally. Oof. So we go to so load script. You click, and here you can go here, and you want to put this okay. BP selected, and then you press the green arrow. Okay. The moment you press the green arrow, then we have to go and click on the start script we'll click on start script i think we have to click on create let's go there again hmm. yeah so we click on start script and here we will put t001 okay this is the table we'll check where it's getting called okay so once this will be called, we'll click on save and then we'll move further. Okay. Let's see, it's putting the breakpoint based on this. So here, if you see, so now it's waiting. The function effect. It. We click on continue script. We click continue script. So after hitting continue script, we will just give the transaction code that we want to enter. So still churning, churning, churning. Let's see in the meantime the other transaction code. Still churning. Mm -hmm. Okay, come here, continue script. Okay, so now you see this ME23N. So if you see, I put this now. It will stop here so this is the place where this t001 is getting caught now here if you click on exit script and suppose you want to put some other ones so suppose you want to put ekk okay and you select and if you want you can put multiple tables okay so we'll put ekpo ekko and ekpo okay and you execute and you see it stops here then if you click on continue script okay 
and suppose we want to select here again we see it stops at here so here it's getting called so this is very helpful where before before an alternative used to be we put a put a breakpoint at select statement which will take forever an average um, an average transaction code will at least have probably 10,000 select statements so it's impossible to go through it which is not impossible it will take forever so this way you can you know put the exact table where you want to check the select and you can find what is the problem so here if you want if you see you can see or the bar here the PO will have the PO number or something like that so if you click on the PO, EKKO, this doesn't have anything, okay. So here is the EBL and so if you see this is the, so you may want, we want, you may want to see from where it's getting called further. So you have this, this standard and you have the stack. The stack is very important. And from here you can see from where, which function, this functional module is getting called for this form routine and then this function module inside is calling this function module through this form routine. So all these things you can see from here. So this is very helpful in finding which particular select clause is getting called for which table in a particular transaction code.